Article 49 is a lengthy article. I would entertain a motion to waive the reading of Article 49 in its entirety due to its length. A move by Ms. Barnes to have a second on that. Can I get a second? Seconded by Mr. Griffin. Uh, and I will now take a motion to open discussion on Article 49. Getting a motion. Anyone want to move by Mr. Griffin? Can I get a second on uh, discussing Article 49? Seconded by Ms. Barnes. Is there anyone here who would like to speak to Article 49? Which Article 49, just in um, uh, quick overview, is a proposal to establish an ordinance um, that pertains to smoking in certain areas of town. Uh, if you could introduce yourself, sir, and state your address for the town clerk. Hi, Anthony Caro, 7 Keen Lane. Thank you. I'm here to support um, this article, Article 49. It's something that we um, got voted in last year, but um, somehow it didn't get turned into an ordinance, and we're hoping to see this fully through this time. All right. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 49? Ms. Wilsey? Of course, uh, congratulations. It's a great article. I'm glad to see that you included the electronic devices, which may not leave cigarette butts on the sand, but certainly would affect the quality of the air. So I congratulate you, and I think this is an excellent article. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 49. Mr. Jones. Is this a binding one, Uncle Mark? I can't hear you. Is it binding? Is it binding? Yeah. Is that what you said? Um, Mr. Gerald, have you had occasion <coughs> or are you able to offer any opinion on whether if Article 49 were passed, whether it would be binding and enforceable? Um, I do think insofar as it uh, relates to the care, protection, preservation of use of public cemeteries, parks, commons, libraries, and other public institutions, and insofar as it uh, regulates the kindling of fires uh, or for removal of all combustible materials from any building or place, as the safety of property in the town may require, um, I do think it is... Uh, it is one that's within the authority of the townspeople to adopt as a bylaw. Thank so, you. So I guess the answer is yes, it is binding if it's voted up. The town can vote it. Yeah. Okay. And as I also understand my, my reading of this, that uh, smoking on any town-owned property would be prohibited, correct? It uh, relates to public property, yes. So it's just town properties, and not state property. It doesn't affect state beaches, for example, right? Well, the, the, the state tells us that they're sovereign on their beach, so I guess that uh, it won't apply to them. Right. And it does apply to people smoking in their car when they're driving on town roads, correct? Um, I Since they're on uh, town property. I hadn't considered that. This is a petitioned article. I think you'd want to ask the petitioners whether or not they intended to be governing that. Right. Well, the intent I'm not too concerned with, although I would be interested in hearing your intent on that point. The question is one of legality. As the way I read it is if you're on town property, whether driving in your car or riding your bicycle or whatever, you cannot uh, um, combust, so to speak, right? <laughs> Spontaneously or otherwise. <laughs> And it doesn't, not, it doesn't appear to pro prohibit vaporizing, from what I can see. It talks about combustible material only, which, of course, vaporizing is not combustible. So uh, I wanted to get clarity on that as well. It seems to be overly broad. We're going to have people coming. We have a lot of visitors coming in this town. And if we start enforcing this ordinance, which I'm sure our chief of police will enforce any ordinance we pass, we're going to have to do it uh, unilaterally. I'm not going to say oh, you're a visitor, you can smoke in your car. You, you're not a visitor, you can't smoke in your car kind of thing. So a lot of people are going to get surprised to get pulled over smoking in their car. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Anyone else wishing to be heard on yeah. Article 49? Mr. McFarland. Uh, Mark McFarland, 3 Warner Lane. Uh, I'll be brief and try not to be a comedian up here. Um, I don't expect the police to enforce this like I wouldn't expect the police to enforce 
uh, picking up dog poops. Um, but what this does, and let's not nitpick whether I can drive down uh, the street smoking in my car. This gives us who <coughs> are offended, um, feel our health is at risk, the ability to approach somebody in one of our public places, whether it's at a kid's park or at a sporting event, and ask somebody to remove themselves when they're smoking. Um, that's the expectation. Let's not nitpicky and try to be funny about this, and uh, <coughs> let's just support it. It's common sense. Thank you, Ms. McFarland. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Seeing none, Article 49 will appear on the ballot as printed. Article 50. We, the undersigned registered voters of Hampton, New Hampshire, in order to protect the human health, preserve the natural environment, conserve precious and dwindling natural resources, and to curb the desecration of the beauty of the town of Hampton and the state of New Hampshire, and to protect the health, welfare, and safety of its citizens, request you to insert into the warrant for the 2019 town meeting the following article to see if the town will vote in favor of the following to establish a no smoking ordinance stating that it is unlawful to smoke in any public park, cemetery, common, beach, or other public property of the town of Hampton, New Hampshire. Persons in violation of the provisions of the ordinance bylaws will be subject to a fine. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 50? Moved by Ms. Barnes. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Waddell. Is there anyone who wishes to be heard on Article 50? Mr. Carroll. Uh, Anthony Carroll again, 17 Lane. I'm here to uh, ask if you could um, amend Article 50 as to not confuse the voters and add in Section 1 through 7, which is on Article 49, which would make this uh, article like binding. No, I mean, the concern I have with both efforts here are, is, are we introducing a new purpose um, into this article? And I, I think we are, Mr. Caro. So I always like to make things as clear as possible, but you, you've got Article 50 um, requesting that an ordinance be uh, created to, to establish. And this, I gather, is your ordinance. Right. Right. So I think I'm going to decline, not I think, I'm going to decline your proposed amendment. Uh, we don't introduce no, new subject matter on, it's, the, it's, on, the, on the rationale that um, if I knew something like this was going to be proposed, I would show up. And if I didn't know about it, I didn't show up. So that's why we don't take new subject matter. So I appreciate the fact that uh, Article 49 um, has all these and Article 50 doesn't. Um, but that's where I think we should leave it. All right. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Rice. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. I don't smoke. I don't like smoking. I hate it. I tell people who are near me who are smoking when I don't like it that I don't like it. I ask them to stop. But this, both Articles 49 and 50, they go a little bit too far. Public land, picture this. Public land, middle of January, there's a storm. The wind is blowing at about 40 miles an hour. And somebody's sitting down on the, the bench on the edge of the ocean, and they light up a cigarette. Are you going to tell me that that's going to affect somebody's health that's standing 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 feet away? Absolutely not. And what police officer in this town is going to use the judgment to say, wow, he's endangering the, that other citizen's uh, health over there. I better go stop him because there's a fine attached to this thing. We're going to fine him $50 for lighting up a cigarette in a 40-mile-an-hour wind. Not practical at all. I mean, I hate smoking. Let me tell you, I would love it if nobody in the world ever smoked. I would be very, very happy with that. I used to smoke many years ago, April 14th, 1984, but who is keeping track of when they quit? <laughs> I am. And this is just an absolutely non-enforceable uh, ordinance. And if you're going to have something on the books that is not enforceable, then it doesn't belong on the books. If you're going to have it on there, it better be enforceable. Otherwise, you're shooting yourself in the foot. 
So I know the intention of this is very well-meaning and everything else, but I think there are other ways of educating people and that we should promote those and push those as hard as we can and not enact unenforceable ordinances. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rice. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Mr. Carl. Yes, I'd like to add something. Um, this is our second attempt to put this through. And I'd really like to believe that Hampton is a forward-thinking town. Let's not be the last town in the United States to pass this. There are plenty of other towns that have already had this ordinance already through. It's, it's, a, it's a surprise that we don't. So let's, uh, let's lead the way. Please. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Crow. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 50? Seeing none, Article 50 will appear on the ballot as printed.